one of the major sources of new data will be machine-to-machine -machine interactions, which are one facet of the Internet of Things. This refers to connected or smart devices that can sense information about their, ex their external environments and communicate both with each other and with the Internet, the traditional Internet. About five years ago, the number of connected devices surpassed the number of people on the planet. At present, there are about three smart devices per person, and by 2022, it's estimated that there will be about eight per person, generating over $14 trillion in value, which will come from, for example, improved customer experiences, reductions of the time to market, decreased supply chain waste coupled with better asset utilization and labor efficiencies. One of the earliest examples of the Internet of Things comes from the house. Smart Things was recently acquired by Samsung and they provide a line of connected devices and sensors for the home environment that can communicate information to and be remotely controlled by a smartphone app. This would allow you to, for example, turn off your oven after you left the house or toggle your lights while you're away on vacation or receive a notification whenever your children get home from school. Now imagine if you could apply that same level of knowledge to the factory floor. This is the promise of a smart factory where, for example, you could monitor a piece of raw material as it moves through the factory and out the door. Intel has already built such a factory using its gateway solutions devices, which connect legacy unconnected devices to the cloud. They've seen over $9 million in cost savings resulting from decreased component failures and energy costs coupled with increased equipment uptime and productivity. Another example of the Internet of Things will be smart marketing, which will allow enhanced interactions with customers by, uh, for example, delivering personalized or spatially targeted advertisements or um, predicting when a customer needs service. Another example which you will find in rep the report is transportation. The U.S. Department of Transportation is already working on steps to build a smart infrastructure that would allow vehicles to communicate with uh, passenger or pedestrian cell phones and with other connected devices in the infrastructure to reduce traffic congestion and accidents. The trend in each of these instances of the Internet of Things is towards dramatically increased connectivity at the home, on the road, in the office, and on the factory floor. The Internet of Things will lead to dramatic improvements in operations and efficiency resulting from a detailed knowledge of one's physical environment. So what you've seen here are disruptive technologies that we have identified as having real commercial potential. These are not pipe dreams. There are real startups and inventors working on ideas as disruptive as the internet has been in decades past. If any of these technologies have been of particular interest, we'd be happy to chat with you about how we might be able to work to explore some of these technologies. In fact, what you've seen here is a sample of Prescatter's service. Typically, clients provide us with a statement of work. In this particular case, we have broadly looked at nine disruptive technologies. In the second step, our team has a teleconference similar to this webinar, but where we would have interactive discussions with you and your teammates on the findings. And then in the last step, we compile our findings into a report for you and your teammates to disseminate internally.